quality of air that we breathe is important for our health. Countries in the region are making efforts and the most recent efforts are being done in Nepal. Sir, can you share with us what Nepal is doing in this regard? Dhanyavad. Nepal ma dui prakar le bayu pradushan ko samasya haru dekhiye ko cha. Nepal has been facing problems with air quality as many countries around the world. The household air pollution is the main air quality problem in rural areas. It is caused by use of traditional source of energy, fuel wood, agro residue, animal residue, etc. It is estimated that still some 70 77 percent households are dependent on it and people are commonly exposed to high levels of household pollution for three to seven hours daily. This domestic smoke exposure is linked with chronic bronchitis and bronchitis chronic obstructing lung disease. But in urban areas, people mostly use comparatively cleaner fuel like LPG gas and the air quality is mostly related with ambient air pollution. The problems are mainly due to increased number of vehicles, road expansion, and other construction activities, industrial emission, including of brick, kilns, and open burning of waste. It is further aggravated by transboundary air pollution. Currently, we have five air quality monitoring stations, which provide live data on air pollution, which unfortunately is not satisfactory from health perspective. Kathmandu witnessed very high level of air pollution last year in winter. In on average, PM10 of Kathmandu is 49 microgram per cubic meter, which itself is five times higher than WHO standard. It has been causing increase of respiratory disease like COPD, pneumonia, and ARI which consists 84% on the total respiratory hospitalization. The small air particles also affect the body, leading to diseases like stroke, heart disease, and lung cancers. Hence, air pollution is a major risk to health. The WHO in 2016 estimated that some 22,841 people die from household air pollution and another 9,943 from ambient air pollution in a year. There have been some initiatives to address air pollution from different sectors, including from health side. I am happy to share some initiatives as health sector's response on it. Nepal's new concession in an Article 30 gave the people right to live in a clean and healthy environment. Our existing health policy has stressed on to develop multi-sectoral mechanism to prevent air, water and sound pollution for the protection and promotion of health. Similarly, Outcome 7 of Nepal Health Sector Strategy 2015 has emphasized on collaboration with other sectors to enforce standards for air, water, and food quality. Similarly, in order to advocate and sensitize on the alarming rate of air pollution in Kathmandu and its impact on human health, Ministry of Health developed a comprehensive report on effects of air pollution on health and possible control measures and submitted to Prime Minister's office. Similarly, with support from the WHO, we launched Urban Health Initiative Project last month. Its main objective is to reduce deaths and diseases associated with air and climate pollutants and to enhance health co benefits from policies and measures to take tackle air and climate pollution. We believe the activities will help to protect public health to some extent, which should be implemented cautiously continuously in collaboration with other sectors. Thank you. Thank you.